Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use class syntax to define a constructor function. Ooh, this is some real, real stuff. ES6 provides a new syntax to help create objects using the keyword class. This is uh, to be noted that the class syntax is just a syntax and not a full-fledged class-based implementation of object-oriented paradigm, unlike in languages with Java, Python, or Ruby. This is... Um, probably higher level than to be able to understand, but essentially it's just syntax rather than a class-based implementation of, um, yeah, honestly, I don't even really know exactly how that works. In ES5, we usually define a constructor function and use the new keyword to instantiate an object. Uh, so we create a, a variable that has a function that creates a planet, and then we say a new spaceship, and we can say Jupiter. So this would create an object of Zeus where the target planner is named Jupiter. The class syntax simply replaces the constructor function creation. Class, class, shuttle, and then inside of here we do constructor, target planet, this dot target planet is equal to target planet. So we make the constant of Zeus, so we can create a new object, a new space shuttle. Zeus is the new space shuttle, and the target planet is Jupiter. So this dot target planet, so Zeus dot target planet would equal to Jupiter. Notice that the class keyword <clears throat> declares a new function and a constructor was added, which would be invoked when new is called to create a new object. Okay, so notice the class keyword declares a new function. The class keyword declares a new function and a constructor was added. So the function is constructor, which would be invoked when new is called. So this, when we say new space shuttle, what we're saying is invoke the constructor. New invokes constructor. Uh, upper camel case should be used by convention for ES6 class names. Space shuttle, upper camel case, right? It used above. The constructor method is a special method for creating and in, 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 initializing, initializing, initializing an object created with a class. You will learn more about it you, you will learn more about it in object-oriented programming section of JavaScript and algorithms and data structures certification. So you'll learn more about this in later um, coursework. So we want to use the class keyword and write a proper constructor to create the vegetable class. Okay. Um, so we're going to go class vegetable. And that's going to become a class object. The vegetable lets you create a vegetable object. So here we're going to go constructor. Create a vegetable object with a property of name. Let's you create a vegetable with prop to be passed to the constructor. Um, so I think we go name and then this dot name is equal to name. Carrot. Vegetable should be a class with a defined constructor method. Okay, we've got that. Class keyword should be used. Vegetable should be able to be instantiated. So we, so meaning you can create a new vegetable. So what, here we're, okay, I'll do that later. And then carrot.name should be carrot. Carrot.name should be carrot. Cool. So let's go through this. We're first off, we're setting up the thing so that we're, we've got a vegetable where we can create a new vegetable, which we'll, con we'll do constructor, and then we'll pass in the name. So when we go new vegetable carrot, we say this dot name is equal to carrot. So if we were to, so then we come down here and we create one. We have a new vari constant variable called carrot, and we set that equal to a new vegetable with the name carrot. And then if we log carrot dot name, the output is carrot. If we were to just name carrot, you'll see that what we've got, we're creating, this is a class this whole code, what it does is it generates, we can just call new um, vegetable carrot, and that'll give us the name of carrot. And that's that. If we run the test, you'll see that they pass. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.